Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Welcome to our second PU computer science online classes and in last class we already learnt some important concept about our copy constructor with the syntax and also the features of copy constructor now in this class we are going to study about one example of copy constructor so the copy constructor question to find factorial of a number using copy constructor okay so to find the factorial why because we know that in factorial some of the calculation is that what's the value you are going to take till the satisfaction of the value it going to make the calculation in factorial so the question to find factorial of a number using copy constructor so first of all it going to start by using header file header file is the hash include iostream.h and maybe but because in this program just one header file i used if you want for the end line then header file going to use that is the iomenib.h and also for the setw the iomenib.h here and for our clr scr conio.h here so depend on the function we are going to use the header file and the first header file iostream that is for the inputting as well as the outputting of the uh, value on the monitor so the class it is the keyword and going to declare the class by using the class name the class name is the copy only i used the user defined name or simply the class name that is the copy okay and let the next one opening of the flower bracket sum of the member variables otherwise simply we can take as the member data of the class okay the member data of the class copy so the member data of the class copy that is the var that is called as the simply var and such one going to declare by using the data type the data type is the end and we know that maybe if any member data going to declare by using the access specifier the access specifier specifier is the private access specifier going to use and second thing about our public access specifier why we using the public access specifier maybe to declare the member function of the class maybe to declare the special member function of the class why because we are in the chapter of a constructor then sure i am going to declare one special member function the special member function that is the copy why because here what's the name we are going to use for the class name the same name we need to use for the copy constructor name so this is the rule of the constructor here and so such one going to declare by using public access specifier so the copy and just only i am using uh, one argument in our copy constructor the argument name is the temp and such one going to declare by using the data type int so it is called as the definition of the copy constructor why because there is no any semicolon is that directly i am going to define so copy opening of the parenthesis int t can p and closing of the parenthesis but should remember it there is no any semicolon if you are not using semicolon it is called as the definition of the copy constructor function and simply why because what's the meaning of the copy it going to make the copy from one object to the another object from one variable to the another object so all i already used one var member data and second time in our copy constructor special member function i used one variable variable is the temp so such one going to make a copy to another object the another object name is the var clear this point so in this code i just i want to tell about the meaning of the copy constructor that means i said by using the meaning the meaning is one object going to copy from one to the another so temp going to make the copy into the var and closing of the flower bracket why because we open the flower bracket now this is about the example of the copy constructor function and the second function uh, i want to use the second function name is the calculate and such one going to declare that means the return 
time the return time i used for the calculate that is the int and it is also here definition of the member function it is not the special member function of the class copy it is the normal member function of the class and the member function name is the calculate now some of the calculation i want to make in our calculate member function so the opening of the flower bracket and some of the declaration why because we know that whatever the uh, variables you are going to take while going to make the calculation first of all we need to make the declaration of such variable so such variable i am going to use to make the calculation first one is the fact f a f a s f a c t kya and second variable name is the i i want to make okay i want to calculate the calculation of the factorial and such one going to declare by using the data type int and second thing not just only the fact value we need to take we also initialize some value to the fact so i used i initialize value to the fact the value is equal to the one clear this point in first line i declare the fact and i variable by using the data type int and in second line i initialize some value to the variable fact the value to the variable fact that is equal to the one and in third line just only some of the looping condition why because we know the meaning of the looping it is a programming construct and it going to access the value till the satisfaction of the condition till that you want to that means in our variable we need to use some of the value here till that uh, it going to access the value it going to make the satisfaction till the uh, satisfaction of the condition here so the next thing for i is equal to 1 clear this point here why because we need to take the i value one only why because if you are taking the zero value whatever the value you are going to multiply we won't get the correct answer always the value is zero only so should remember it why because if this line is called as the looping looping construct line okay for loop yeah so for i is equal to one semicolon i less than is equal to var why because in our var i am using some of the value here maybe the 5 10 till that it going to make the calculation and i plus plus always it going to increase the value well, first time the i value is 1 but in second time i value going to make the increment that is i is equal to 2 okay kya so before going to make the increment it doing some of the calculation by using the fact value as well as with the value of the i here so fact is equal to fact into i clear this point here it is not the 1 fact is equal to fact into i now we already know the fact value is 1 now just only i initialize the value to the i that is the 1 so 1 into 1 that means it going to return the value of the fact that is 1 clear this point here it going to return the value of the fact that is the 1 and later next one second time i value is equal to Two in this case here, yeah, and going to uh, check the condition whether two value less than is equal to five. S yes, when you are going to check the condition, two value is less. When you are going to compare with the five value, that means it going to make the calculation. We already know uh, in last fact what's the value we got. The last fact value is the one. So one into two. Why? Because now just only we increase the value of the i. So one into two, it going to return the value of the. fact as the 2 so like that it going to make the calculation till the satisfaction of the condition so satisfaction of the condition in this program i am using entering the value enter the number the value is the 5 that means till the 5 okay here till our 5 it going to make the calculation when i value is equal to 6 when you are going to make the comparison when you are going to check the condition 6 value is less when you are going to compare with the 5 yes, whether the condition is true no condition is not true clear this point here so it not going to make the calculation of the fact clear this point here when it going to satisfy then only it going to make the calculation of the fact value if the condition is not going to satisfy no any calculation of the 
fact in this case here and later opening of the flower bracket we already opened so such flower bracket going to close and one more flower bracket that is called as the flower bracket semicolon the end of the class definition okay so this one is called as the end of the class definition why because we know that maybe if any definition is there of the member function such one going to use before the end of the class definition if any uh, outside class definition is there by using scope resolution it going to use after the end of class definition but here whatever the member function are there maybe the simple member function or the constructor special member function everything going to define inside the class here yeah? okay later next one is about our main function why we using the main function why because in main function we are using some of the object here and it is the um, it is the concept of the copy constructor so i am going to make the copy from one object to the another object so i want to enter some value to the n so because of this reason i declared the n by using the data type int in our main function clear this point here void main open close then opening of the flower bracket and if you want you can use the clr scr but in case you want to use clr scr then sure you need to use the header file the header file is the conio dot h so int n semicolon i want to declare and later next one one my simple message i want to enter some value to the uh, n so enter the number so how it possible to enter the number we know that by using the operation the operation is the sin operation the full form is the console Soul input. I want to enter the value for the yen here, and later next one, the next line. That means this line show about the declaration of the object by using the arguments. Clear this point here. the declaration of the object by using the arguments so uh, while going to declare what's the name of the uh, object the name of the object is the obj clear obj and uh, i'm going to declare by using the class name the class name is the copy and such obj how uh, or containing one argument the argument name is the yen clear this one so we can say that this line shows about our uh, the declaration of the object okay and later next one in second line uh, just in second line i am going to do some uh, work here that means some of the work one is the declaration of the second object and in while going to declare the object i am going to make the copy from one object to the another object clear this point so just only co copy cpy cpy is the second object name here so while going to declare the object by using the assignment operator i am going to make the copy from one object to the another object should remember it why because in a uh, first line i used uh, opening parenthesis n closing of the parenthesis but while going to declare the object and initialize the object from one object to the or copy the object from one to another here yeah, no need to use the parenthesis n clear this point here if you are not using it also going to copy from one object to the another object so this is the most important note about our uh, copy constructor the first line declaration of the first object the first object is the obj with the argument the second line show about the declaration of the second object second object name is the cpy and by using a uh, assignment operator i am going to make the copy from one object to the another object and now what's the value is that before copying and after copying i want to uh, i want to show on monitor here so just only one message see out before copying and we know that yen why because uh, in maybe in a double quotation it going to display as a message that is the yen if no double quotation what's the value we adding to the yen what's the value we adding to the yen such one going to display so yen and later next word it just only for the attractive okay point i used this sign and later next one obj dot calculate in obj dot calculate in calculation in calculate member function we already completed one calculation about the factorial till the satisfaction of the condition so the variable satisfaction condition number is the 5 till that it going to make the calculation here when it going to reach the value increment value here it going to stop the calculation so the obj dot calculate and second thing after the calculation why because see out after copying just i want to show uh, what's the value in our obj and uh, the value of the cpy so the second message c 
see out after copying and just it going to display as a file clear this point here file and later next one about our is just only one simple attractive symbol and later cpy dot calculate that means here two objects are that the first object name is the obj and second object name is the cpy when you are going to complete this program while executing the program will uh, will we need to enter some value so enter the number i am going to enter the value as the file so before copying it going to display the value as 120 and after copying also it going to display the value why because should remember it here two objects are that the object first one is the obj dot calculate and second object is the cpy dot calculate why because how it going to display the same value from one to another we already copied from one object to the another object so in both object the value are the same the values are 120 only Thank you.